What is up, everybody? Thank you so much for joining me. This is Andrew, the Hustle Millennial, coming at you. Um, what we did the other day is we ordered the EYOYO Bluetooth scanner, and we did an unboxing video. So it looks like this guy right here. Now, you can see the walls are kind of bare behind me. Um, if you have been following along, you know we dealt with some pretty bad water damage um, in our basement where we store everything. Um, so we got everything cleared out. Um, below me here we ripped up all the carpet and it's just been a fun experience so i'm um, just starting to get everything back in here and getting everything back and going so the the eo yo now i'm going to start straight off by saying i would like a smaller scanner so for hand size um we're going to give this guy like three and a half out of five stars because while it is, it does fit in your hand, it's not, you know, on the back of the phone there, it's not really, I don't know, it just, it doesn't have a good feel to it. But it is what it is, it's a Bluetooth scanner, so it's still going to make us go way, way faster um, in comparison to not having it. So first things first, how easy is it to pair? It is extremely easy with this guide that they give you. Um, all you do is honestly you open the page and they give you whether you're on Android or iPhone You will literally just scan this so when you're when you're in Bluetooth searching on your phone You will scan the corresponding barcode and it's paired so ease of access five out of five It took me ten seconds to literally flip to the page um, they're marked, it tells you exactly which barcode to scan and makes everything super easy. So ease of access, really easy to get paired. Um, next thing is when you first get this, it has a really loud, annoying beep to it. Um, now it only comes out of those little three holes there, but it is really loud. Um, sounds like a smoke detector going off. Again, they make it super easy. They have options in here to where you can do just a light ping. So let me see, let me turn this on here. And you'll notice that there's no loud. If you saw the unboxing video, when I first turned this on yesterday, there was a horribly loud ping that came from it. And that ping comes out every time you scan something new. So what I did, and they made it super easy. Um, again, it's just a barcode that you have to scan. Uh, let's see here. Do. Yeah, so, and they give you this whole thing, sound and vibration settings, whether you want it to just vibrate, just do lights, have no sound at all. Um, they make that super easy as well. So, annoyance level zero on trying to figure out how to configure this. Um, the same with all of its storage settings, everything like that. It can hold up to 50,000 SKUs before you have to dump them. Um, face this away here, it's kind of bright. Um, you can hold 50,000 SKUs before you have to dump them, and you can switch back and forth um, through storage mode or anything that you want just with scanning a new um, prompt SKU that they have in here. So let me show you guys what it looks like. Now this is what I have up here um, because this is a free app that anyone can use, and I didn't want to use Scoutify 2 or anything because that goes off of an inventory lab subscription. Um, this is Scoutly. And Scoutly is completely free, and let me basically show you. Um, so we have the app open here, and we have a book. So all I'm gonna do is with this button here, you can kind of see it does the scan light. So the second I scan this book, it's gonna bring it up, and it's gonna show that this is a reject for FBA. So um, we've been getting a lot of these, or sorry, it's a buy for FBA. So it took a couple seconds to load there. Um, but we have another book here and we'll show you how fast this thing uploads. So, and we scanned it and it's going to search and it's going to tell us to reject that one. So again, guys, we did a lot of merchant fulfilling. We still do a lot of merchant fulfilling with our books. Um, and this scanner is going to be for transitioning to FBA only. Um, and we're only going to be doing that for a time when we get all this because we cannot hold um, you know, 2,500 books right now. We, we just don't have the room for it. Um, so we are going to be transitioning more into FBA. Um, we'll go ahead and scan another one here. 
just so you can see and I am running the barcode across this whole thing so we'll go ahead and show you find one that has a skew here okay so we'll show you the other end of it um, when we're going through we have the barcode and boom and the second you do that it's gonna pop that new one up onto there so extremely fast um, connectability I'm gonna give it of course and guys my ratings these are going off of no knowledge except for um, this being our first scanner so am I happy with my purchase extremely do I feel it was worth the $45 definitely um, and and here's why I could easily spend $200 on an Opticon scanner um, and I'm going to be doing that when I get um, when we get the lady a scanner as well so we can both be, get going but for $45 um, let me turn this off that way I can show you guys the face of it without you being blinded um, so for $45 this eOYO scanner is definitely exceeding my expectations going out this morning and scanning for about an hour I can say you know it really does 10x what you're doing if you're scanning a hundred books an hour you're gonna be scanning up to a thousand and it's just because literally you point shoot and look for a color on your phone so if you're going through um, like this and you're just scanning 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 you're just going to be looking for that red or green banner and that's going to tell you whether or not to throw it into your cart so that's going to save you a lot of money it's going to save you um, it's going to save you a lot of money because you're not going to be guessing at a lot of the books because when you're looking at just the Amazon listings um, there's a lot of variables that go into play there can be multiple listings for one item uh, with different sales ranks one can be restricted while one isn't stay away from those definitely um, so it can definitely save you the guesswork and the money lost potentially there um, it can save you time which again saves you money because your time is what you're selling in this business so what is your time worth forty five dollars means you're investing a lot more in your time and that's the way I look at it so I think that it is completely worth it it is fast it's easy to set up um, and it can hold 50,000 SKUs, which there's no way I'm scanning in a day. So, um, and quick come home, dump it at night, ready to go again. So the range is good. Um, you can stand on one side of the store, and I know that's really general, but we don't, you know, we were standing a good 40 feet apart just to test it. Um, and it comes through just fine, just as fast as you were seeing there. So, um, goodbye, yes. Um, other than it being big, it's wonderful. So I'm gonna give it a four out of five stars. If it was smaller, it would get all five. But anyways, guys, um, I'm gonna leave the link down below if you wanna pick one up yourself. Um, I'm, I'm definitely gonna be grabbing another scanner and we're gonna be doing another review um, on that Opticon or whatever else we get. But happy picking, guys. As always, everything you want's on the other side of fear. Now go get it.